Yo, what up, Street Dogs? Eric Kim. All right, the Triple Thought. This Triple Thought is about uh, the philosophy of optimism. You know, why be optimistic? Why does this matter? And so forth. So the philosophy of uh, optimism means the best is yet to come, right? And romanticism, which is the opposite, is that all the best which has ever, ever happened and been created and existed is in the past. And therefore, the only way to seek joy or happiness is to find it in the past so past designs past concepts past philosophies past books past um literature past uh artworks past designs past films and stuff like that now my thought is too much focus on the past and romanticism is kind of a like a a degenerate retrogressive way of uh, seeing things and rather and this is where i guess the optimism of technology comes in is that the future will be better brighter more prosperous and um better that the, the best is actually yet to come and i think the reason actually why uh elon musk and tesla spacex is so great is that Essentially, what it is, is giving people optimism and hope towards the future. And I don't think people really want to go on Mars for the sake of being on Mars. But the fact that, you know, people have something to hope for and that the humanity's reach is still much more optimistic. You know, considering the past, you know, when people are doing the space race and trying to get men on the moon and stuff like that. And it feels like in today's world, life is a lot more stagnant. Um, the best invention we have now is Amazon Prime, which is still phenomenal. Yeah, you know, people take it for granted. People are jaded by the new iPhones and so forth. So essentially, we feel like uh, we feel that innovation has kind of slowed down and we find uh, less hope. And therefore, we're, you know, we throw ourselves into busy work, into work. Um, consumerism, buying things, rumor websites, and, you know, trying to buy the, the next new new. But my thought on optimism is, you know, the best you is yet to come. And I guess I'm unique in so far much as, uh, like, I've seen it through my 20s and 30s now, um, where when you're in your 20s, you aspire to be something. But then once you've become it, in some ways, you actually kind of hope that you go back to things the way things used to be. So, you know, sometimes I used to, uh, I used to fantasize about, you know, my lifestyle in Vietnam and stuff like that. And obviously because of COVID, that's not really possible anymore. Or, you know, when I used to be able to go to the gym and do powerlifting and deadlifting and stuff like that. But actually now, you know, actually funny enough from using kettlebells, I have a 70 pounder and a 105 pound kettlebell at home. I'm actually getting buffer, um, you know, doing new moves and new swings and becoming more strong and uh, muscular uh, getting more muscle mass in that way. And so I like this idea that the best you is yet to come. And I think this is perhaps the best way to think about and approach life, that the best inventions are yet to come. Um, you know, the best designs are yet to come. And perhaps this is also why I don't like to buy anything because I'm always kind of holding out for the next new new. And uh, there's there's always going to be something that's new and exciting with car designs and, you know, phones and devices and cameras and stuff like that. And, and also just kind of realizing that the best type of creation isn't to wait until something comes and then we use our aesthetic taste and judgment to just choose it, but rather to design it for yourself. Yeah. All right, so to continue these uh, turbo thoughts on... Um, on, uh, on the philosophy of uh, optimism. So yeah, I think uh, the best way to live life is to think that the, the best is yet to come because if you're living a life where you think that the best has already happened, you know, what motivation is there for you to, to move, uh, move forward? And I think that the, the way to become more optimistic, I mean, just part of it is just facts, right? Like, um, Imagine if you're in the 1980s and you're like one of those hipsters who's like, yeah, you know, the, you know, the best in the past. But, you know, can you imagine life without Google Maps or <laughs> the Internet? Even for myself, uh, if it wasn't for the Internet revolution, if it wasn't for blogs, websites, you know, 
Google search, social media. And actually, this is a hat tip to Facebook because even in the early days when I, um, uh, I started my blog, Facebook actually helped me a lot. You know, not so much more anymore. But yeah, so much more gratitude towards, you know, being able to turn my passion for street photography into a living. And, you know, now with cryptocurrencies and, you know, all these new things, I think there's a brave new world uh, waiting to be exploited. And the question is, how are you going to harness the technologies of today, tomorrow and the future to your benefit?